Hello darlings, today we're going to be making some delicious gingerbread biscuits and this is a recipe that's been in my family for a while. I've just transferred it onto my own piece of paper but my mum has the original recipe. It's on a really old piece of paper and it's been around for a good long while. So I thought I would share with you guys this lovely recipe because the gingerbread biscuits are really unlike any other gingerbread biscuits. <laughs> They're really crunchy, they're not the soft kind of gingerbread biscuits. They have a real good bite to them. Really nice, crunchy gingerbread biscuits. So I thought I would share the recipe with you guys. So I hope you enjoy it, um, and let's get started. There is something that's missing though. Hmm. Oh, I know what it is. Christmas music. <laughs> Now that we have some beautiful Christmas music on, we can get on with baking these delicious gingerbread biscuits. Now I've measured out all of my ingredients here so that it's easy for me to put it together to show you. Measuring ingredients does take a little bit of time, so, so you're not measuring on the go. You can just measure everything out beforehand and it makes it a lot easier. But the first thing we need to do is dip the flour and the ginger together into a large bowl. I've got my flour here, and then my tablespoon of ginger in here. Now this, this little flour sifter doesn't work anymore, it, the handle doesn't actually move the inside, so I just have to move it manually. It still works, it's okay. I like it because it's old, even though it doesn't work. Woo. Oh my! everywhere in the flour. Ooh. So now that we have the flour and the ginger in the bowl, we can then go ahead, you can mix that all together. And then we can add the butter in. And we're going to be rubbing that butter through with our fingers. I mean, you can, uh, there's probably other little devices in your kitchen that you might have like a little mash or something that you can mash together. But for me, I know the easiest way is to just do it with your hands. So make sure you have nice clean hands before you rub the butter through. And yes, don't mind the rainbow that is just sitting in my bowl. <laughs> We've got a little mobile in the window and it's crystal, so the sunshine is just shining straight through. Yeah, just keep rubbing the butter through until it's all an even consistency and you really try to rub the butter through all the small bits of flour. So yeah, don't leave any dry bits alone, just keep rubbing it until it's all the same consistency. All right, now that I've done this, I'm going to combine the sugar, milk, and syrup together in a separate bowl, and then I will add that after I've mixed that all together. Now that the butter is all rubbed through the flour and ginger, I'm just going to set that aside. And in another little bowl, I'm going to mix together the golden syrup, the brown sugar, and the milk. Now, if you do have allergies, don't worry. You can easily substitute um, for gluten-free flour or substitute the golden syrup for a sweetener that is less sweet if you would like, but do remember that all of the ingredients in here help the final flavor to be the best that it can be. Yeah, the brown sugar really gives it that caramelly, delicious, rich flavor at the end. It really helps that that ginger crunch come out. But yes, it this recipe works great with gluten-free flour. And you can substitute the butter as well. You can use a margarine of some sort and that works too. Okay, so now that this little syrup mixture is mixed up, I can add this into the main big bowl now. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour this straight in and then mix this all together now. And we're gonna keep mixing this until it forms a dough. Dough, a deal, a female deal. Now it's a little bit of an arm workout, but just keep going until it forms the dough. Bake, it really makes me realize how unfit I am. Is that the sound? <laughs> okay, I think I made it too runny, weirdly enough. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little more flour into this. Oh my, maybe I added too much milk. I don't know what it was. Okay, this is a much better dough. I'm just going to boil this up, put some cling wrap over it, and put it in the fridge for half an hour, and then after that, 
I'm gonna roll it out and cut some little biscuit shapes into it. I've just taken the dough out of the fridge now and I'm actually gonna be rolling it on baking paper um, because I don't wanna take the tablecloth off. So I'm just making do with what I have. So I'm just gonna be rolling it on baking paper. So I'm going to roll the dough until it's about half an inch thick. Now you wanna make sure this is all even, otherwise the cookie's gonna cook at different times. And then once that's done, we can start to put the little biscuit shapes on and make our little biscuit. <laughs> So I decided to work some more flour into this just because it was so sloppy. The other ones were really difficult to pick up. So hopefully this is gonna be a little better. This is going to be a little bit better. I can already see that it looks a lot better than the other ones. Add a little more. never too late to add in flour to fix things to make it a little bit more dry and vice versa if you've made things too dry you can still add in a little bit of milk or something to get it to get it to the consistency that you want So I've spaced them out in the tray so that there is room so that they can expand a little bit while cooking. Now these biscuits don't take very long. They should take about 15 minutes in the oven. 15 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. I don't know whether all ovens are like this, but definitely with our oven, the top always cooks more than the bottom. So these ones are a little bit more golden and these ones are a little bit lighter, but that's fine. We'll have two different textured biscuits and that's nice. I'm going to put them on a wire rack and let them cool down and I will do a little taste test once they're cool. with gingerbread biscuits and I'm so excited to eat them. <laughs> I'd be lying to say that I haven't actually tried one because I, I, I did eat a little one when, when they came out of the oven while that was still hot and mm, it's so good. <laughs> These are without a doubt the best gingerbread biscuits. It's just a recipe that never fails. They're always so tasty and you can make a really big batch and you can share it with your family and friends and give it away as part of a little Christmas present with some lovely gingerbread cookies. Gingerbread biscuits, I should say. Biscuits is an Australian thing. Cookies is American. So yeah, they're just absolutely delicious. Did you hear the crunch? <laughs> the crunch is real. Mm. And it's perfect. Crunchy on the outside and a little bit soft on the inside. <sighs> These are the sort of biscuits that you can't stop eating. They are actually addictive. If anybody decides to try making these gingerbread biscuits, I really recommend it. They're so delicious and your family and friends will love them. See you next Sunday. Bye. Um, what are we making? Okay. Now that we have some beautiful Christmas music, music, woohoo.
I love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, I did not realize I've had the air conditioning running. Oh my gosh, it's like a saggy breast. <laughs> this is a tried and proven. This is a tried and proven. Wow.